What's going on, buddy? My name is Ethan. Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, today we're going to get into Unit 4 for AP Computer Science A. Very exciting, I know. So, Unit 4 is all about iteration. And what is that exactly? That is just loops. And these things go on and on forever until you tell it to stop. Um, so, yeah, that's what a loop does. So, let's start with while loops. We're going to get into for loops. And then we're going to get into some more complex algorithms with these loops. So let's begin 4.1. 4.1 is on while loops, while iteration. And it's pretty, actually it's pretty easy. So let's make an integer, we're gonna call it i and give it the value of one. And let's form our while loop. Um, I'll indent these a little bit. So it's gonna be wild. wild. <laughs> uh, while um, i is less than or equal to 50. So in our parentheses, it's kind of like calling a method. Um, we're going to have a condition here. So while i is less than 50, i is less than 50, so it's going to run. So while i is less than 50, all we wanted to do is print out a new line for i. Now, if we did this, it's just going to print out 1 forever. We need to make it so it doesn't print out 1 forever. So we're just going to increment i by 1 every time the loop runs. So it's going to print out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 50. And it's going to include 50 because we put the less than or equal to sign there. What if we removed the less than or equal to sign? What is it going to print out? Well, it's going to print out 1 to 49. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's put this equal sign back up there. And let's change i to negative 22 or 24. How about that? And is it going to print out the negatives as well? Well, let's see what it does. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to print out the negatives, and of course, go up 24, 23, 22, 21, all the way up to 50. All right, let me clear my console. Uh, so yeah. Now, what if we didn't have the increment here? Well, we're probably going to get a runtime error or any other error that might crash our, <laughs> our program. So we don't want to necessarily do that. Now, what if I want to have i on just one line with a space in between? Well, that's pretty easy. All we got to do is put i. Uh, we're going to change this from a print line to print. And then we're just going to put a space there. So it's just going to print out i plus space. And, of course, we still need to increment i by 1. I'll change this back to 1. Uh, and now we're going to see it's going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it's all going to be part of the same line. Now, it may appear like it's on different lines, but that's because I ran out of space on the right side. Um, so, yeah. That's why. So that's one way we can do it. We can also increment i by something else besides 1, so 2. So we're going to do i plus equals 2. So now it's going to print out 1, 3, 5, 7. And it's going to print out all of the odd numbers because we've incremented it by 2. And now it's not going to print out 50, though, uh, because it is going to be greater than 50 because 49 plus 2 is 51. So it's not going to print out 51 because that is uh, greater than 50. And the loop is if i is less than or equal to 50. So that's something else to just kind of know. Um, what, what do we want to put out the, the even numbers without changing i? Uh, how do you think we're going to do that? We want to keep i as starting at 1, but how are we going to print out the even numbers? Well, we can use uh, an if-else statement. So we can do if i divided by 2 has a remainder of 0, then print out i plus a space. And if it doesn't, we can just do nothing. Um, so we don't have to put an else statement. And then we always want it to increment by 1. So we're always going to let it increment by 1. So we're not going to put that in our if statement. So now it's going to print out all the even numbers from uh, 1 to 50, including 50, because of the less than or equal to sign. So in readouts, we're going to see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on, all the way up to 50, if it ever works. It's not going to load, is it? It's... Okay, I'm not going to clear it. Oh my gosh. We are having some technical difficulties here. Let me rerun this real quick. Oh my gosh. Um, it's supposed to work, by the way, because I have my if statement. I have everything here. It's just having a little bit of issues. And it says it's still running, so... Um, this might be a second, but we'll just pretend that it's there. Okay? Good, 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 good. Okay, let's do uh, another one. Let's change the value 
of i. Um, let's do i equals, uh, let's do integer number. How about that? We'll change it from i to something else because we can obviously do that. We don't want to do i the whole video. Let's do 134. And while number is greater than zero, we want to print out the number uh, divided by 10. We want to print out all the numbers of number. So each single digit, one, three, four, backwards. Uh, so let's do this. Let's print out the number backwards. So all we're going to have to do is while number is greater than zero, we're going to print out number remainder 10. Uh, we'll just do a print statement. And then we'll add a space here. Actually, we don't even need a space because it's a number. Um, and then we'll do number equals number divided by 10. So you're probably thinking, how's this going to work exactly? Now, if my code runs this time, and I will make sure it runs, um, it's going to print out all the numbers we need. So here we go. 4, 3, 1. There we go. So 1, 3, 4 backwards is 4, 3, 1. So we just printed out our number backwards using a while loop. Very, very cool. Um, let's see. Let's do something else. Let's do... Um, I'll just write it out, and I'll show you what it does. So while a num is less than or equal to zero, so it's going to include while number is zero, uh, we're going to see if number remainder 10 is equal to zero. And then it's going to print out a uh, number, and we'll do a space at this time. So what do you think this is going to do exactly? So we'll do number minus minus, and that'll end our loop there. So what do you think is going to happen when I run my code? Make a prediction, because um, you might have to do this on your AP exam. I have an error there. That's why it's not working. Um, and I have another error. Hold up. Stop. Run. Debugging is so fun. Um, here we go. Please work. Yeah, there we go. So now it's just going to print out all of the numbers divisible by 10 from 134 to 0. And it's going to print 0 because we have less than or equal to. So that's why it's going to include 0. Very, very cool. So, um, what if the Boolean exception is false? So what if while number is less than 100, less, less than, let's do greater than 130. Or, no, let's do less than. While number is less than 130. Is number less than 130? No. What do you think is going to happen? Nothing's going to happen. Because it's false. This Boolean condition is false. So the code it's not going to run. Um, so yeah, and if this exception is always true, this code is going to run forever. That's crazy, I know. All right, let's do something a little bit different. Let's remove all of this. We're going to make a double. We're going to give it call it A, give it the value of 0, 0 0.0. Double B is going to be 10.0. And then we'll do Boolean valid is equal to true. So let's write a while loop. And if we have a Boolean expression as our condition, we just have to write the variable name. So we'll do while valid. Then we're going to do if A is less than B, it's going to add 1.5 to A and only increment B. So one day, sometime, it's going to be um, the same. And if that if it is the same, then we're gonna have our else statement. Valid is going to be equal to false. And then we're going to print a line for A and print a line for B. Very, very good. So it's going to print out the value that they're both gonna be when they are both the same, according to this math here. So maybe you try to do this on paper and figure out what the value is that they're both going to be because they're going to be both the same value at some point but what is that value going to be well let's run our code and find out so it's going to add 1.5 each time to a and we're going to get 30 as our same time so what does this mean exactly this means that our code is going to run until they both hit 30. very very cool i know um so yeah, that's the number that they're both going to be. So that's using a boolean as a condition. Um, it's very, very cool. Now let's use some string loops. Um, yay. So we're going to do integer s equals to zero. We're going to do string name. We'll do, uh, let's do Meredith. 
That's a good name. I was watching Grey's Anatomy earlier. That's what's on my mind. And then while s is less than the name dot length, what we're going to do is that we are going to print out the letters of Meredith's name uh, individually on a separate line. So how are we going to do this? Well, we use the substring method we learned in unit two. So we're just going to print out name dot substring because names are a variable name, and we'll do s and then we'll do s plus one. Now, why are we doing s plus one? Because we did s s, we get an error, and s s plus one is going to print out the element, uh, the place. I'll call it the place, and then that's all it's going to print out because it's not going to print out our second um, condition here. And then we'll do s plus plus to increment it and not have a loop that lasts forever. So now it's going to print out each letter of Meredith's name on a new line. So M E R E. Um, I got an error because I have too many of these. Uh, M E R E D I T H, all on a separate line. Now I really encourage you to spend maybe a few minutes just going and making your own while loops to get the hang of this, uh, because you're you're going to be using this a lot in your course in your AP exams like twenty percent iteration in the multiple choice section so and your and your frqs are going to have you make loops so you need to be very good at making loops fyi okay so yeah that's 4.1 and that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe it's free and it really does help me out i have more ap computer science videos if you want to go check those out uh they're really really helpful and all of that and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video adios